next on Worcester News Tonight, an assault caught on camera. The victim's family is speaking out tonight. Plus, legal recreational marijuana goes on sale this week. A central mass retailer and local police are ready. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Anna Botari. We begin tonight in Worcester, where a family is speaking out on bullying after they say their daughter was assaulted at Worcester East Middle School. The incident was caught on camera. They're now hoping to send a message to Worcester Public Schools. Our Cam Jandro joins us now live with more. Cam? Anna, the Parkers say they've never had a run-in with bullying of any kind and they're not sure why their daughter was targeted in this incident. But now that video has come to light, they want to show this to the district's administrators. And we still haven't heard anything back. Dawn Parker is looking for answers. She says her daughter was assaulted at Worcester East Middle School last week. And I knew something was wrong. She had red marks on her. She got in the car and she continued to cry and say that she just got beat up by two girls. My heart hurts! My heart hurts! Cell phone video captured multiple students throwing punches at Parker's 12-year-old daughter. She didn't want her daughter's face on camera, but the middle schooler shared her experience with Worcester News Tonight. Well, I was walking down the stairwell, and these girls stopped me and, like, asked if I wanted to fight them, and I said no. The family has filed a report with the Worcester Police Department and are trying to get in contact with the superintendent. Parker's father was shocked when he saw the video days later. And knowing what, what, what happened is, is one thing, but when you see the video and you can see him pounding on her head and you can see the fear in her eyes, that's, I mean, that kills me inside. Where was the staff? Where were the teachers? Nobody's in the hallways when the children leave school. Parker says her daughter has been a target of bullying since the video circulated around the school. She says the other girls involved in the fight received a two-day suspension, but Parker wants the school to take bullying more seriously. It's not a joke. Somebody's going to get hurt, and I have to stop it now. People should take it more serious and be nice to each other because it can hurt somebody. Now, the Worcester Police Department does confirm that they are, in fact, looking into this incident. We did reach out to the office of the superintendent, but we are yet to get a response. We did, however, give the family contact information for the Worcester Public Schools Safety Director. Anna. Thanks for that, Cam. Well, switching gears now, recreational marijuana goes on sale for the first time in Massachusetts tomorrow. Members of the Cannabis Control Commission toured Cultivate in Leicester today, getting a first-hand look of the facility and some of the products it will offer. They spent time reviewing some of the safety guidelines the store will be providing its customers. We certainly have what the regulations are, the nutritional facts, uh, but more importantly on this package, which I appreciate, is that it says please allow 60 to 90 minutes for full effect so that people will understand that five minutes after you consume an edible, it's not going to take effect. Cultivate is one of two commercial shops to open Tuesday. The Lesser facility will open at 8 a.m. and as you can imagine, long lines are expected. Our Rosalind Flaherty has the details. It's been more than two years since Massachusetts voted to legalize recreational marijuana. And Tuesday, Cultivate in Leicester will be one of two dispensaries in the state to begin selling the product. This is a very historic moment for uh, the state of Massachusetts. The company is expecting thousands to line up and buy recreational marijuana. Iraq War veteran Stephen Mandilli will be the first customer. I'll be going probably with flour and uh, some edibles. The cannabis activist suffers from PTSD, anxiety, and a back injury. He admits he attempted suicide before turning to medical marijuana. He says it helped save his life. It allows me to be able to focus. Um, I tell people that with the other medications or no medications, it's like I'm, uh, when you're listening to the radio and someone keeps hitting seek, you know, and you hear like two seconds of a song and you keep hearing all these songs and you can't focus on one. The company says they will have extra staff and inventory to accommodate the crowds. Cultivate is using a parking lot down the street to shuttle people to the facility. Police details will be monitoring everything. We have a special operations plan in place for traffic, parking, 
safety and security. Cultivate says although this is an exciting time, they want people to be educated on what you can and can't do when you go in to buy cannabis. We're trying to get things right. The Cannabis Control Commission has been very careful in ruling this law out. According to the law, you must be 21 to buy one ounce of cannabis or five grams of concentrate. It is illegal to use in any public or federal space. You can have up to one ounce on you and up to 10 ounces in your home. Rosalind Flaherty, what's your news tonight? Again, doors open at 8 a.m. Only 40 people will be allowed inside at a time, and they'll only be accepting cash until noon. Well, Spencer police are looking for a man they say led them on a high-speed chase. Lloyd Day of Worcester was stopped around 1 a.m. on Route 9 near the Spencer Country Inn. Police say he was driving a vehicle with excessive tint on the windows and a burnt-out license plate light. Police say Day was uncooperative and struggled with the officer. Eventually, a taser was used on Day, but he took off and led police on a chase. Officers called it off for safety reasons. A warrant was issued for his arrest. A Pennsylvania man charged with using a blowtorch to break into six Target stores across New England faces an arraignment in federal court. Police say 35-year-old Elijah Akins and a second unnamed person broke into several Target stores, including this one in Westboro. According to reports, they stole nearly $200,000 worth of Apple iPhones and iPads. Police say Aiken and his accomplice used a portable cutting torch to cut a hole through a metal door at the store. The alleged crime took place between December 2014 and February 2015. A fifth generation dairy farm gearing up for its busiest time of the season. Thanksgiving is three days away and the rush to get the holiday turkey has begun. Grabbing a Thanksgiving turkey from Jordan's Turkey Farm in Rutland has become a tradition for Meg and Dennis Woodruff. We love the idea of buying locally and Jordan's have provided really great turkeys for tons of years. So. Yep, yep, yeah, we've been coming here for I don't know how long. I, at long least time. 10. The Woodruffs were among the dozens flooding into Jordan's to grab their turkey. Mary Jordan's husband owns the farm. She says the crowds begin forming on Monday, but the calls start coming in months before. People wanting that fresh turkey for Thanksgiving probably started in September. Jordan says each year they see an increase in business and believes the buy local and farm to table movements have helped. Consumers are really, you know, wanting to know where their farm, I mean, their products are coming from and where their local food is being grown. And so here at Jordan's Turkeys, we raise them and they're nice and fresh for Thanksgiving. They support other local businesses by putting their products up for sale as well. Customers say it's not just the turkeys they come back for year after year. It's to support the family who has kept the farm running for five generations. Great to see the Jordan family in operation, uh, even when we just dropped by to pick up the turkeys. Uh, yeah. Less on it day to day. Yeah. Right. It's always good to see them every year. Jordan says they anticipate their busiest day to be Tuesday and say sizes are limited, but they do have turkeys left. So if you give them a call, they can help you out. The Thanksgiving travel rush is also getting underway and it's expected to be especially busy. More than 54 million people across the country are expected to travel this week. But thankfully for people driving, gas prices are down. Our Brittany Schaefer has that story. Peggy Muir is traveling across the Northeast for her Thanksgiving holiday. I'm driving to Connecticut and then on to New York State, the Hudson. I didn't take 270 into Worcester, which looked a little heavy, but otherwise it's been good coming from me. Muir is seeing a close friend and then traveling to see her sister. She says the roads have been fairly clear, but the rain is slowing her down. Oh, I left a day early because of the storm coming tomorrow, but I set off in a storm today, but it's not bad. People traveling Monday like Muir are getting a jump start on the Thanksgiving traffic. AAA predicts Tuesday will be the busiest day of travel. AAA is forecasting that 54 million Americans will hit the road this Thanksgiving holiday, which is an increase of about 4.5% from previous years. So one reason, obviously, is low unemployment rate right now, and a lot more people have you know, extra money to spend on, in, for holidays and uh, traveling. Um, also, low gas prices relatively right now locally. Massachusetts will see the most travelers this holiday since 2006 at an estimated 1.2 million. AAA Northeast Drew Carlson says with the expected rain, drivers should reduce their speed and keep their headlights on. Always, you know, check your maintenance, check the tires, check the fluid levels, check the oil. 
uh, and make sure you know you're safe and you're good to go for when you do hit the road. Drivers Monday say even if they hit traffic, their final destination is worth it. Things have really picked up. You know, around this time of year, it gets really busy. We're just gonna go with the flow. We're just gonna go with the flow. You know what I mean, it's a lot of a lot of traditions and stuff. So I'll be a lot of good food. I'm very excited because actually my whole husband's family's coming. I am happy I'm going to be avoiding all the traffic. Well, I'm very grateful to be going where I'm going and um, happy Thanksgiving. Again, Tuesday will be the busiest travel day. Also expect a lot of company on the roads Wednesday evening and Sunday. Brittany Schaefer, Worcester News Tonight. Thanksgiving week is also known as the start of the holiday shopping season. A National Retail Federation survey shows holiday sales in 2017 totaled more than $687 billion, which is a 5.3% increase over the year before. The Better Business Bureau is still reminding customers to shop smart when they head out this holiday season. Our big recommendation is for people to ask for gift receipts whenever they make a purchase. It's uh, significantly discounted by the time, you know, after Christmas, you're yeah. gonna run uh, into the deep discounts uh, after the fact, and uh, that could uh, limit your return um, spending power. The BBB says it's important to pay attention to fine print when taking advantage of Black Friday deals.